barbershop conversations man um good morning happy friday happy friday the 13th y'all um and uh i just took a nap in the car i'm charging the car i'm at the charging station now um i just saw a clip where donald trump says no taxes on overtime now that's federal taxes guys not your state tax and why that's critical is it hits every american home this is not a democratic issue this is not a republican issue although the republicans and donald trump is bringing this to the forefront it puts more money in your pockets man and there should not be an american disputing this this could potentially potentially relieve you of your second job this could put will put more money in your pocket and three for business owners it will it incentivizes people to work more than 40 hours a week without the business owner accruing more more deficit more money coming out of his pocket now what you can do is go look at your paycheck and you can see how much money is being taken out of your out of your check now i know teachers who are on salary city employees state employees you are on salary and, and this may not um uh, impact you but it impacts it impacts your family it impacts your community it impacts uh uh starbucks staying open later so you can um go so you can go to starbucks at 10 p.m at night because you have a project that you need to fulfill you're a case manager of some sort or whatever job you may have um instead of your job closing at 6 p.m now they can stay open till 8 p.m you know um um holiday pay anything over 40 hours right so if it's over 40 hours, if you work 60 hours, that's 20 hours that not will be th that will not be federally taxed. So I, I, I encourage everyone just to um, be cognizant of how they're voting, when they're voting. Um, this impacts uh, my family greatly. Dre has the ability to work as much overtime as she pleases to. Um, um, you know, and, um, if she wants to work, uh, she's cut back on her job significantly, but if she wants to work, she, she, she wants to work, you know, um, um, we, we have a lot of emphasis on raising our children right now. So working job, working at her job is not as critical as it can be. And also entrepreneurs you know it um it allows you because if you work for your if you work for yourself and you're an employee of yourself you get that tax break you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know you can work 80 hours a week and pay yourself and not have federal tax on it and just pay the state for your um for your for your work but you got to find that happy number uh, that benefit. I just gave you guys a million dollars worth of game, right? Uh, forget the hope game. Let's talk this financial, financial game. Everybody want. Everybody believes in hope. The Democratic Party is giving you hope. I am. Um. I think Trump is the better candidate, man. Um, I think. Come, matter of fact, I know Kamala Harris has no ability to reform and create a newer brighter economy because if she did she's had for three and a half years she's had the brain trust that surrounded her to create the economy to create a plan and uh, I, I believe they've had 40 or 50 days and i would put 40 or 50 more days on top of that because um they had the they had the um how you say it they had the debate the earliest it's ever been right um i, I saw that somewhere on on uh from a credible source on instagram like uh, uh a clip from cnn or fox or newsweek or something like that and um 
it's the earliest it's ever been. So prior to that, uh, they knew, I believe they knew that Biden was not going to um, sustain himself. And that's why they, they did the test run with the early um, uh, debate. Moreover than this, I understand how media has given you the optics that Donald Trump is racist, he's dumb. Um, and I would tell you this, that if you wanna go tit for tat, you voted for Joe Biden who said, and I quote, the inner city schools are jungles. I don't want my kid being, being educated in a jungle. He don't want his kids. Now, and all this you can Google, right? Your uncle is doing 25 years right now because of a Joe Biden bill, size of a quarter, right? You guys got to go watch these clips. Um, you know, um, I, I encourage everyone. So, so when you're talking about racism, Donald Trump has never imprisoned someone because of his racism. I, I understand you know about the Central Park Five. And uh, I encourage everyone to to do your Central Park Five because you got to understand when they admitted guilt, the sentiment was citywide. <laughs> I know because I'm a New Yorker, and I and this is why you guys got to do your research. The whole city of New York wanted these wanted these uh, men behind bars because they admitted to the crime. It was citywide. It was such a big deal. You guys got to, um, you guys are not New Yorkers, so you don't feel the sentiment. It was kind of like in 1977 where they had that serial killer. What was that serial killer's name in New York in 1977? Him. It was a movie made after him. My mom told me the story about, uh, about him. She was pregnant with me. Um, but just Google serial killer in New York in 1970. It was a big deal, just like the Central Park Five. Did race have something to do with it? Yes, race had something to do with it, quite possibly. You know, I'm, I'm talking about race in terms of the coverage, right? Um, I, I agree. But but let me tell you something. All five boroughs, because it was a because it was a unprotected woman, wanted wanted them behind bars, and Donald Trump spoke after they admitted they were guilty. But these are things that um, you can't fight. I'm a New Yorker, so I know the story. I know about the Central Park Five. Um, and you got to ask them why they admitted they were guilty. Um, um, so um, I, I, I understand. I understand how media plays a huge role in, um, in, in, in framing your perception of America. I get it. Uh, I That's why I didn't respond to Tyreek Hill. I said, no, nah, I'm not going to react off a 10 second video. I'm going to, if I have to wait 24 hours, I have to wait 24 hours. And lo and behold, he's just as guilty as every average American who talks back to a police officer. You know, you don't talk back to the judge, you know, and before you get to the judge, there's a medium. It's called a police officer. So you have the same respect you have for police officers. You should have respect for the judge. You get dressed up. You put your suit and tie on. You're very respectful. Your shirt is tucked in. Your mom is with you. Grandma's with you. Mom done put up the money for your, done put out a second loan on her house or one of her assets so you can be bailed out. And yet you disrespect the police officer. The police officer is the medium, you know? So, um, as I digress back into the topic at hand, look at your paycheck and look how much taxes is being taken from you by the federal government. And there lies your answer. And many of us work overtime, all the truck drivers, all the uh, people who stock shelves, you know, at overnight, who's working, uh, all the security officers working 12 hour shifts, you know, um, I feel, the warehouse workers we've got a lot of warehouse workers in every industry there's a warehouse worker whether it's amazon whether it's kroger um you know there's a there's target 
overnight uh and, and salute to y'all you know um um whether it's trader joe's you work overnight stock the shelves um now when you work seven to seven now for four days right 12 24 36 48 you get eight hours untaxed so you'll be incentivized to work during Christmas, you'll be incentivized to work New Year's Eve, New Year's, uh, uh, Easter, Memorial Day, Labor Day, Fourth of July. You're incentivized to do that, and um, at, at no cost to your employer. So, um, y'all go ahead and have a beautiful day. No tax on tips, no tax on Social Security, no tax on overtime. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, and I'm just strictly talking money. I know y'all stuck on racism and if humanity is that important to you, then by all means, you know, if uh, DEI and equity and inclusion and and uh, is, is that important to you, by all means. So y'all go ahead and have a beautiful day. And um, um, I'll talk to you guys soon.